Willie, are you Willie? You going to be at the uh, Corks? Yes. Nice. Sorry. Yes, I will be at Corks. Uh, I will be the guy harassing you. <laughs> like always. I'll be heckling you. <laughs> nice. Jeez. Uh, that's what I do. All right. You are the player. Because your vision is our vision. The player. Well, before we get started discussing Frenzy on the ColecoVision, let's take a look at the box. I love the ColecoVision boxes, mainly because they typically show a picture of the arcade game on the front, which I think is kind of neat. They all look similar, you know. They have a silver, silver outline here, black background, but they're still kind of cool. High resolution video cartridge for the ColecoVision Atom family computer system. Ah, awesome. Now, I really like the artwork on the back. This is kind of cool. You got your little skeleton robots, which actually look like real skeletons. <laughs> the Dalek looking guys right there, we got a battle. Shows a picture of the game screen itself. What's really cool is the ColecoVision game looks almost exactly like the arcade version. It's pretty It's pretty nice. They did a really good job porting it over. And of course we have a little introduction down here, which I love reading these. Your mankind's last hope, a lone humanoid caught in an unending series of deadly mazes. Each maze is different and each is defended by a squad of laser firing robots. Eliminate as many of them as you can, maneuvering swiftly to avoid your most dangerous enemy. The dreaded Evil Otto. If you eliminate one, yet another Evil Otto will chase your humanoid even faster. Yeah, that's kind of cool. You can actually kill Evil Otto in this game. Pretty awesome. Let's take a look at what's in the box. Of course, we have our cartridge. Typical ColecoVision black cartridge. Got the arcade type font. Good looking cartridge. Of course, you know, they all have these little storage areas in the back. If the game came with an overlay, you could put it in here to, to store it if you didn't keep the box. And then we have our instruction manual. Blue and white. Frenzy! Goes through all the different skill levels. You got four skill levels in this game. And I can't play with the Darner skill level 4, so the video you'll be seeing as we talk about the game, I'll be playing on skill number 1. <laughs> Talks about all the different features. The ricochet walls. Oh yeah, I love the ricochet walls. Oh, oh look at that. Did you realize I was in there? Warning card. Talks about Adu. Scoring. Bonus points. Bonus commandos. Really cool. Alright. So let's uh, plug this thing in and let's talk about Frenzy. Well, welcome everyone to this premiere episode of ColecoK 2400, where we take a look at some arcade ports to the uh, ColecoVision. First up, we're going to talk about. Frenzy by Stern Electronics. Before we get started, though, let's uh, introduce ourselves. I'm Willie, of course. We also have John, Mr. Gamester81. Hey, guys, what's going on? And we have RK from the Toy Tune Podcast. Hey, what's up? Now, RK is a big time ColecoVision nut as well, just as much as you, John. He loves that machine. Nice. That's that first. was my machine. That was that was it. I played with it up and from from when it first came out. I think I played with it steady until the mid nineties. Oh, nice! I just nice. never, I never stopped. <laughs> yeah, until the mid nineties, and then I had to go out and buy another one. <laughs> awesome! Yeah, it's a great, great machine. So, Frenzy by Stern, released in the early eighties, around nineteen eighty-two. It was designed by Alan McNeil. Well, this was a follow-up to Berserk, which I freaking love Berserk in the arcade. Right. Yeah. 
But what was cool about the arcade version of Frenzy as a sequel to Berserk was they changed up the gameplay quite a bit. You, again, have robots inside of a maze, but this time you have interactive elements that you can also uh, do things with. For example, you can shoot holes in the walls to either walk through mm -hmm. or shoot the robots through. You also have these other elements, like there's a big happy face, which is Evil Otto. You don't want to shoot that, because otherwise you get a gangbang of Evil Autos coming after you. <laughs> They had like a little tape recorder that you can shoot that would destroy all the robots on the screen. And then there was like a, uh, like from a mad scientist lab, those high voltage tower looking things. You'd shoot that and all the robots would freeze on the screen. And they had another one where it would pump out little robots, little robot factory in the middle of the screen that you could shoot to turn it off. Uh, added all those elements uh, to this game really improved it over Berserk for me. I really enjoyed playing Frenzy in the arcade. What are your thoughts on the arcade version of uh, Frenzy, John? I uh, I like it. It's kind of uh, overshadowed by its big brother, uh, <laughs> Berserk, of course. But uh, I really like the the fact that you can shoot through the walls and you know those dots and kind of add some different elements that Berserk didn't have it. And I, I thought overall the the Clico version ports a really strong port for it. But um, you know I, I enjoyed the game a lot. Yeah, one of the things I liked about Frenzy was the ricochet walls. Right, yeah. That, that is a whole other element to this game. That's a lot of strategy where you can rebound your shots off these walls to hit robots. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, very much so. What are your thoughts on the arcade version, RK? Well, I love the uh, that you can, you know, what you're saying, you know, do the bank shots and uh, the fact that none of the walls would electrify you if you walked into them. Hmm. Um, but I did like the, uh, <clears throat> you know, the four decorative rooms that you were talking about i remember i remember bringing home this game and wondering you know back in those days you know you didn't know much except for what you read in the magazine so i didn't know like i wonder if the creators of berserk know about this game <laughs> 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 till i realized it was you know they were both from stern but um i the the uh the big auto room i remember the first time i played that and I just kept hanging around, um, shooting the the evil auto, and then the face changed, got angry, and threw all these uh, little autos at me and pulverized me. And mm -hmm. um, I didn't know that was going to happen. I had no idea because I never <laughs> played this in the arcade. And I I actually I dropped the joystick. I had a Wicco joystick plugged in, and I actually dropped it because it it startled me. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I also thought it was the coolest thing. So I. I loved it. I, yeah, I, I really like the room at the, in the middle. Those uh, with those, it's like an electronic thing. You shoot, and all the enemies freeze. You know, yeah, I yeah. The, the power plant. Really cool. Yeah, the power, the power plant. plant. That's a that's a really cool room too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they they definitely just... like 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 Willie said. They definitely upgraded from Berserk, right? And I think the ClicoVision wasn't like the only home port outside. Maybe the Spectrum. Maybe you saw it. I, um, I think I think those are the only two right. uh, home versions they did. Yeah. Um, my opinion, I think the ColecoVision version is actually an upgrade from the arcade. And for a couple of reasons. I mean, one, some of the uh, animation, some of the graphics in the middle of those rooms, like um, I, I think it's the central computer room. Mm -hmm. um, it's a better graphic with the you know the tongue hanging out coming back and you know going back and forth. I like the angle looking up at the uh, computer instead of the one that they used in the arcade. And the other thing that neither Berserk nor the arcade version of Frenzy had was music. And mm -hmm. they actually wrote like it seemed like different key pieces of music, like when Evil Auto enters you hear almost like a do 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 like a bassoon like this yes. ominous tones yes. so they added like it was like this this game has its own soundtrack um hmm. the other thing i really loved is when you're a player when you um get zapped uh in the arcade it looks like the berserk version it just stands there and pulsates in the coleco vision the arms go up the back arches i mean he really looks like he's getting you know electrocuted mm. and, and it looks uh, like a police outline from a crime <laughs> scene yeah, yeah, and um, so there's more there's more uh, personality there and more character. So, 
Yeah. I actually think with you know those those small changes, I I think that the uh, Coleco version is is actually uh, slightly better than the, the arcade version. And it really, I think it just ports over well to to Coleco Vision, just given that it's like the the sprites are all single color, you know, um, not multicolor, you know. So I mean, the color is good, and like you said, the music. I didn't realize the music was much different, but that's interesting. So um, yeah, it's, it's a great port. Yeah, it has like musical. It's a video game it has musical cues. <laughs> mm, mm. which I really didn't notice that until I was playing it recently, actually preparing for this when I realized that I was much better when I was younger than uh, <laughs> I found it very <laughs> difficult today. I was like, I used to be really good at this. <laughs> so yeah, I was pretty it's a hard game. Yeah, I didn't have but, a ColecoVision back then. But I had a buddy that had one. I remember he bought this game for his. Uh, we were just blown away of how well it looked on the ColecoVision. It's actually hey, well, a really it, good port. And it was also more colorful than Berserk. Yes. It was, yeah. And I you like know, the two I, different types of robots, the ones with the little bubble heads and the tracks and the skeleton yeah, things. Yeah. Right. The single yeah. eyed yeah, octopus to be yeah. <laughs> Whatever yeah, that they're aliens. Both, they're both kind of creepy, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I although I, I wish they had thrown in some of the uh Cylons from the uh I, I would have liked that if they had some of the original Berserk robots in there too but um yeah. i'm not complaining <laughs> well, i'm surprised this game wasn't ported to other home consoles at the time like the intellivision you know i'm just kind of surprised that i guess it, it wasn't as popular in the arcade than berserk maybe i don't know you know yeah i don't know about I, you that. know i don't know i was surprised that uh this was the only two video games uh that stern made aside from um two other games I never heard of uh, when they had a different name because they're primarily a pinball manufacturer mm -hmm. and um, to me Berserk um, was an iconic game uh, from that era well, I used I used to use the uh, the Wicko bat stick on the ColecoVision um, and have like a V cable so I could access the keypad and stuff from the controller and um, I can remember sitting there playing and going through all because I think it's every what is it three four screens you get a room you get one of those rooms the yes. big big auto and i can remember going through them all and going through them again and going through i never paid attention to my score and today i was playing and i couldn't get past the big auto room <laughs> and i'm like what happened <laughs> mm -hmm. i'm I, and i'm using a decent controller i'm actually using um the ed Ladin controller so i have a decent joystick and i'm sitting there and i'm like i'm like this is embarrassing I'm I I have not seen the other rooms since I don't know 1993, <laughs> <laughs> and I was really mm -hmm. counting on seeing them today, and uh, I'm like, wow, I'm 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 rusty. Well, it mm -hmm. took me it took me a few tries before I got good enough to start seeing all the rooms. Could there have been speech in this? I don't recall any speech on any of the ColecoVision games. I'm, I could be no, wrong, but no. could, not like, the old, not the original ones. Yeah, no. no. I mean, it would have been a real. It probably would have taxed the system where on the fifty two hundred, you know, everything froze when you're yep. in voice. So, <laughs> well, I know like homebrew games today have have speech. Yeah. So I don't know if it's just the way they program it or or what, but it's interesting. I mean, I like the speech. I think there was less speech in the arcade game than Berserk had, but um, I, I don't. Th it doesn't take anything away from this game not having speech. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's just so much going on. There's so much uh, to do, and um, you know, the, the trick shots, the you know, the, the ricochet shots, and you know, <laughs> sitting there and shooting out all the little dots to make a space in the wall to shoot the other guys. <laughs> or, or, or luring like a robot behind the robot you're shooting at and, and like moving over to the side and having that robot shoot out the dots for you. Right, right. <laughs> There's kind of a lot to do in this game. <laughs> well, that's what, yeah, makes it, it, that's what makes it interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's similar to Berserk, right? I mean, but yeah. it's different. It's the upgrade, oh, yeah. Which is nice. I mean, it's definitely an upgrade. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I still love Berserk, but you know, in fact, you know, with the with the um, expansion module playing 2600 games on the console, even though I would love playing Frenzy, I always went back to playing Berserk on the 2600. It's just mm -hmm. something about that game. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Well, awesome. Got any final thoughts on the ColecoVision version? John? 
Uh, no, it's, it's a, I think it's a must own. I mean, it's a really good game for the ColecoVision. It's there's so many good home ports to classic arcades. I think this is just another one, and uh, I think it just really ports over well from the arcade. And I think we've we've talked about some some good stuff with it. Yeah. What about you, Arcade? Any final thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I think everything John said is <laughs> is correct, and uh, I think we used to say uh, for the fifty two hundred that. Um, things like games like Defender Centipede with the roller con- uh, with the trackball rather um, is what you had a 5200 for, and I think this is one of those games that you have a ColecoVision for. Right. So if anybody's going out and gonna you know try and find a ColecoVision, then you have to have Frenzy. It's not a super hard game to find for the ColecoVision, is it? No, I don't, it's not. It's, it's, very, it's yeah, very it's easy fairly common. Yeah. 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 And didn't then they included it on the flashback, didn't they? I think they did. Yeah, yeah, I think they did. Yes, they did. Yeah. yeah, so I I think that you know anybody listening to this, you have no excuse if you're not, <laughs> if you're not playing friends. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Of course, you know you got it. It'd be nice to find it in the box. Oh well, because I love the box art for the ColecoVision games, and Frenzy is really nice. I can't yeah. picture. Does it have the arcade on it? Is yeah, it one of those? on with the, the on the front the... cover, it shows the actual arcade machine, the badge. which is normally yeah. what ColecoVision did. Mm-hmm. And it plays like the real arcade game and high definition, high click definition. Back. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Then on the back, it shows like actual skeletons <laughs> back there, drawings of them. Nice. And these little Dalek looking robots running around. Shows a game screen. <clears throat> it's actually a pretty nice looking box. Mm-hmm. John, he knows this because I gave him my ColecoVision box. Oh, That's why we're doing there this you game. Go. Nice. Like, because I got the box for it over to he's, he's holding the box that I bought back in 1983 or whatever, 84, nice. whatever it was. Nice. It's awesome. <laughs> I'm sorry, Willie. I just had to say that. That's fine. That's yeah, fine. I'll be taking a close look at the box here on the next segment that's coming up very soon. <laughs> so, yeah. thanks for recording the video, guys. Oh, my pleasure. And yep. we'll uh, do another game here in the near future. You are the player. Because your vision is our vision. The player. Charlie, Charlie. I play on Coleco B. You are the player.